Well, welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much, guys, for all your loving kindness, your support, your generosity by liking and commenting and subscribing to this channel. I'm going to do something interesting in this read because we're seeing a lot of fighting and arguing and obstacles. Fighting and arguing. So, what is going on in the life of the collective's partner and the third party? What is currently going on between a tower? They're hoping for a tower. A breakthrough, I don't know. What's going on in between the collective's person and the person they're dealing with, Spirit? What is currently... Ooh. Hang on. Crying, regret. What's currently going on between the collective's person and the person they're dealing with? Could be <laughs> that this person does an awful lot of drinking. It could be that this person is happy when they're drinking. It's always like happy, sad, happy, sad energy. Trying to pretend they're happy, but they're sad. One person might be happy. The other person might be sad. There's a lot of drinking going on. This person is hoping and wishing yeah, it's just like retaliatory energy, uh, shadow work being done, being haunted by regret, anger, resentment, angry communications, maybe text messages, going back and forth. Someone feels like... They're trying to avoid communicating with this karmic about something. Someone thinks it's unfair, it's unjust. Someone is hurt, angry, resentful, sad. I think that it's your person who is avoiding communication with the karmic right now because hurtful words have been said. Yeah. The baby mama feels like something is unfair, unjust. That this person is, they keep thinking that this person is coming toward you or is coming to see you. They, their intuition is telling them that this person is in love with you and that they feel stuck or... Yeah, they think that this person has still got you on their mind, that they're stuck on you somehow, and that they're going through a tower. They may have even been married with family here or married with kids here. I don't know. They're feeling, thinking that they were foolish. They're wasting their time. It's like they want to end something it's like they're still holding on to the empress energy hmm. if they married the karmic they're actually thinking about separating or divorce I think that they're ignoring the karmic right now, but that's what's on their mind, separation or divorce. They may have even recently married the karmic, but they're already thinking about divorce. They're, because what's on their brain is that the King of Wands is going through a lot of 
friends gossiping about them, rumor mundering, they're fighting and arguing, they're feeling stuck. I mean, sex is the only, they're still passionate about the temperance. Something is weighing really heavy on them because they're energetically still holding on to you, who the single person. They think that they're, this is their karma. They're thinking that this is their karma. And it is. There's untrust. There's jealousy. There's like spying. And this person is just confused. That's the truth. They're confused. This is their karma for what they did to you. So they are in love with you. And there is manipulation going on with this other lover. Okay? And there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry. There's a lot of sleepless nights. Anxiety. Maybe guilty consciences. Because this person... made some type of offer based on finances or ego they're thinking egotistically okay that's why they were working on things with the karmic but they're lonely there they're depressed there they're there out of codependency and their their secrets defensiveness the karmic is like put the work in your commitment put you're committed to me now i think that they could be getting a legal separation the karmic <sighs> They're going to end up separating anyway. They could be going through a separation or a breakup. They may have had a big fight. And hmm, it's about finances. I'm telling you. But this person can't get you off their mind. You're all they think about. It's like, damn, I should have made the, gave this cup to the Empress. I should have done this. I should have done this. All the woulda, coulda, shoulda stuff is going on over there. They're very confused. Okay, they're sincerely, genuinely confused as to what to do here. So tell me, how does this person feel? That's what's going on over there. What's going on with how this person feels toward the collective energy? How does this person feel toward the collective energy? It's like this karmic is actually threatening them. Well, if we separate, then you're going to be financially unstable. I'll make sure you're financially unstable. It's just, they just can't seem to let you go. They feel like their life is going in circles, and it is. They did try to forget you. They were all up in their head. But they see clearly now. They are terrified of you rejecting them. And it is their past that is haunting them. And I told you they have a guilty conscience about something. 
They wish you could just start over. They think of you as an angel. They feel like a devil and they know they need to apologize. They are obsessed with you. They can't get you off their mind. They just can't seem to let you go. What's going on? What is their true feelings toward my collective energy? How do they truly feel toward the collective energy? This person, masculine or feminine, how do they feel now toward the collective energy? Well, they see you as single, confident, entrepreneurial energy okay on your own see you working hard at some kind of communication they know they're getting their mm, they know they made you sad they see you as wish fulfillment or that you're fulfilling your wishes they are like, they know that this is the, they know they're getting their karma. Okay? Things are changing for you for the better in your life. Since you walked away, they worried that they know your secrets. They know they made you worry. Don't blame the devil. <laughs> They're like doing this. They're scared that this karmic is going to cause you problems or a tower. They're going to cut you somehow. Be very cutting. Like they got the scythe out for you. They feel foolish. They see that you're a hard worker, working hard toward uh, taking a leap of faith on a new business venture or a new beginning. It could be to do with you being a high priestess, that you're being blessed somehow. You're very spiritual. You are very in tune. You are very... They wish they could, oh, let's see. They wish they could end this unrequited love situation and take a leap of faith toward you. They know that, They know they're getting, they're stuck in some kind of judgment. They know that. This is, they know they're getting judged for what they did. They know that. They want to message you and tell you that you are their wish fulfillment. Whatever you've worked for, they're proud of you, like you've accomplished something major in your life or that you're accomplishing something major in your life. They see you're very worthy of this stability, this solid foundation. They didn't see, but they see clearly now. They're seeing something to do, they're nostalgic about the past. They know they deceived you and that they are getting the consequences of their actions, but they're still in love with you. They would love to reconcile with you. They would love to come toward you and they're still in love with you. To bring you some kind of justice. That you're strong. You've set up boundaries. Hmm. <laughs> They're worried that they may have turned you cold, but that you've turned into the Empress. They're still passionate about you, but they don't know if you feel passionate about them.
they feel kind of guilty that they turned you cold. They know that they probably turned you cold in some aspect that you may not be as loving to them as what you used to be or being too quick to love them unconditionally that you've set up boundaries. They have kind of feel guilty that they turn someone, they think it's unfair that they turned you into a cold energy being like cold toward them. Well, they know they rejected you and that they abandoned you and they're missing you. They know it's their choice. You were very patient with them, very understanding. And it's like they feel like they're this beast compared to you. They see you as a warrior, a spiritual warrior. They've seen you as very beautiful, a leader, a queen of wands, someone who is very passionate about what you do, passionate about life, passionate about your ideas. But they know they put you in a competition and they know damn well that they put you through a lot of stress and worry and anxiety. You actually are giving this person strength. They know that you're powerful. They know that you brought... The, they know they're getting the consequences of their actions. They know it. They see clearly that you are their Ten of Cups. They see clearly that you're worthy of all this honor, respect. They miss you. You are the Ten of Pentacles. They know they hurt you and made you sad. They see you as this heavenly light you know what I mean sending them light that you uplifted them tried to help them tried to give them the light you're a powerful manifester and who they're dealing with is they would like to separate from this karmic energy they see this karmic as a burden and they see you as the sun someone they could grow with, someone who makes, you are the happiness in this person's light. And they don't feel that about the karmic at all. They feel like the karmic energy is wearing a false mask and just doing things to like, they can never fill your shoes. That's they're wasting their time. This emperor is going, this karmic is wasting their time if they think they can fill your shoes. They cannot fill your shoes. They seek the sacred. They see you as true love. They see this karmic as cold and detached. They know the truth. They know you were telling the truth. They see you as their true love. <laughs> They know that this karmic was just gaslighting them for money. They see you as single, confident, and they know that this karmic is jealous of who? This Nine of Pentacles. This masculine is saying they were never fill your shoes. So that's what they're telling me today, guys. They see you as the star, the sun. They know they 
embarrassed you, maybe they shamed you somehow, made you sad. They do feel that like their life is going in circles and that's because it is. They've done it before. <laughs> Quite honestly, they did. They see you as an angel. They feel like the devil. Beauty and the Beast. You know what I mean? They're saying this karmic or whatever karmics they're dealing with will never fill your shoes. They couldn't do it. There is only one Cinderella, <laughs> right? Yep, that's how they're feeling right now, guys. Take care, everyone. Good luck.